Hello and welcome to the Industry Profile Series, where we break down industries by numbers, history, products, innovation, and future trends in under three minutes. Today's episode is on the petrochemical industry. Let's get into it. The petrochemical industry is the industry concerned with the production and trade of petrochemicals. Petrochemicals are the chemicals obtained from the refining of petroleum. Today, the industry employs 15 million people directly, and according to one report, contributes $5.7 trillion to world GDP. Some of the largest companies are BASF, Dow Chemical, and ExxonMobil Chemical. Although petroleum has been used in different forms throughout history, the modern industry didn't begin until 1848, when Scottish chemist James Young distilled a light oil from a natural petroleum seepage, which could be used for lamps. The world's first oil refinery was built in 1856 by Polish inventor Ignacy Lukasiewicz, and in 1859, what is widely considered the world's first oil well, was drilled in Pennsylvania. Petroleum's main use at this time was as a fuel for lighting. This was until the first production car using an internal combustion engine came in 1886, highlighting the potential of petrol power. Further advances in technology came during World War I, with new inventions like the aircraft spurring on interest in oil refining. World War II served as another major catalyst for growth of the industry, with oil being seen as a vital resource to fighting a modern war. The post-war boom brought with it an explosive increase in the number of cars on the road, and new inventions like polyester made plastic products an integral part of modern life. The most notable products of the petrochemical industry are of course petrol and diesel. This group also includes plastics such as polythene or polyethylene, the most widely used plastic in the world, and other things like bitumen, naphtha and petroleum jelly. In addition to this, the petrochemical industry also provides feedstock chemicals for other areas including the manufacture of fertilizers and paint. But arguably the most important products are those used by or in the pharmaceutical industry, with nearly all products being derived from the refined products of crude oil. The fundamental breakthrough that allowed the industry to flourish was the ability to separate the different components of crude oil using temperature and other chemical treatments. This is best exemplified by the fractional distillation column, which allows the various components of the crude to be separated and extracted according to their different boiling points, with substances of higher boiling points condensing at the bottom and those with lower boiling points at the top. Of course, because of the energy transition, petrol and diesel will become less and less in demand as cars switch from internal combustion to electric. But as mentioned previously, this is only part of the industry and other products such as chemicals for the pharmaceutical industry will always remain in strong demand. Thanks for watching. Episode 2, The Car Industry, next week. Stay tuned.